Ah, <sighs> I think I'm ready for this. Let's go. Move it, son. Let's go through all 16. Well, technically 15. Because this one, I didn't come up with one. Because it's so close to the normal. Monster smokes. The way I'm counting them is bottom to top, left to right. So these spawn 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. <coughs> I'll try to give some indications as to which spawn you're at. <coughs> but for the most part, this can be practice. So let me go ahead and start at spawn number one. You know it's spawn number one because you're closest to this part of the thing here. You look at... Let me pull it up. You look at this top right of this particular window. It's the... I don't know. It's this window. I don't know how to explain it. <coughs> and you do a jump throw. Okay. Spawn two. You're closest to the normal position to throw <coughs> the uh, normal uh, smoke here. So you just do that. All right. Spawn three. I know I spawn three because I'm close. I'm like, I don't know. I'm in this vacuum here, like closer to this wall, but not really. Uh, spawn four, like you're flush through the wall. Spawn three, you're like you can actually see this this wall here. So that's that's how I know I'm here. And I look at the top here, this bulb or whatever, and jump throw. <coughs> Spawn four, like I said, you you're closest to this wall, closest to this trash can, however you want to call it. Uh, I look here, so I'm basically going from this line over to the bottom of that uh, window, and it's a tap W jump throw. <coughs> Doesn't quite get. Quite as far, but it still covers it. Still looks like that. Um, so yeah, this one lands sort of the weakest of all of them, I would say. But you're also pretty far. You, this is the farthest, basically, you get from that position. So that's kind of what you get. Talk about <coughs> spawn number five. You're, I mean, very close to the stairs, but you're a little farther away from the trash can. You can sort of tell. Uh, you look at the top left of this particular square, and you do a tap W jump throw. There you go. <coughs> Spawn six. Kind of hard to tell you in spawn six, but basically the X, that line of the X sort of points at you, if that makes sense. Um, and I think you look at, ah, oh, shoot. What's spawn six? I don't remember. It's either that or the other one. Ah, oh, jeez. Oh boy. Oh, gee. Oh boy. There you go. Bottom of this of the uh, window here. <coughs> Sorry. This is spawn one. This is spawn six right here. Little tricky to remember all of these, but <coughs> there you go. Spawn seven. How do you know in spawn seven? Well, it's a good question. 
you're sort of in the middle of nothing, but if you want to think that you're below the X, sort of outside of the circle of the X, right below it, that's spawn 7. There's a little bit of building there, poking out. You go ahead and you jump through. Ooh, that was a bit of a bad bounce. Let me see if I can micro correct that. That's a lot better. So basically where where the peak of the building like sort of meets with the pole, you sort of to the right of it kinda. That that gonna give you a better bounce. Uh, these all work. These are all fine. I mean, we're talking a uh, very small optimization. Uh, just in case this grid decides to be mean and like bounce the other way somehow, you don't want that happening. <clears throat> okay. Spawn eight. Uh, now, uh, kind of hard to decipher what we're doing here, but you're the other side of the X is pointing at you, maybe? If that's how you want to think of it. Um, and again, you're outside the circle. The next row, you're going to be like inside the circle. Uh, a, you have to do some trigonometry. So I'm putting the bottom of the pole with the top of the pole. But because the pole is slanted, in our view, it's going to look like that. <laughs> go spawn nine we're now over to the third row where the we're smelling the engine of the car here <coughs> there's a sort of this pointy reflection on the on the uh, truck if you just use that, I don't think it'll work because you're just gonna bounce off the thing. So you need to look to the bit up top and to bit to the to the right, just a little bit, just so you can clear that thing. And it should look like that. Spawn ten. Huh? Spawn ten. You're right at the X. That's the easiest one to remember. You add the X, X is 10 in Roman numerals, so there's another little hint for you. You can uh, <coughs> look where this wire meets the truck, and then you go down to this line of the truck here. So here. Playing down smoke. <coughs> there you go. Spawn 11. You're on the outside looking in here on the 10. Kind of hard to remember, but if you just use basically like this intersection, you know you're spawn 11. Uh, oh boy, how do I remove this? Okay, so basically you're gonna... A little more uh, messing with a uh, middle. So in the, in the middle of these two, looking at the sky, basically... At the height of that building there, but unfortunately, there's a there's a bottle on the way. But there's there's this roof here. You put it in and around there. Looks like that. <clears throat> Spawn twelve. You're farthest, like closest to this box. Basically, you, you're reading them. You can see long. You know that's spawn 12. You look at the top of that building there, where it meets this particular beam, and you do a tap W jump throw. Basically, that spawn, spawn 12 that I just looked at, and spawns four and five are the three that require a W jump throw. Okay, we're up to spawn 13. Spawn 13, you're on top of the X. Spawn 13, you are still very close to the to the thing. And you can see this triangle 
going on here. You wanna look at the top of the triangle, maybe a little to the left of it. This is some personal preference to where this is gonna land. It lands pretty deep in the tunnel. If you just look at the top of the triangle, it's also gonna land really deep on the tunnel. If you wanna make it sort of bounce uh, and not go that deep, you need to think of something maybe a little bit like that. But then we're talking like up and to the left to do that. I don't mind the landing deep in monster tunnels, so I just do that first one that I showed. That was 13, so 14. We are closest to the box. We're sort of now in the other side of spawn six over there, if you want to think about that. Um, this one's a little bullshit, but you're gonna line up that circle with that thing right there, like this. <coughs> May have looked a little high, but it should be fine. That's what it looks like. Spawn 15, we're deep, we're ready to go away, uh, and it's that corner right there. <coughs> oh. yeah. It's here, no? Yeah, no? No, no. Oops. This one is the one I spend the least amount of time on because it was so easy. Laying down smoke. Am I looking? Oh, you know what? I think I. Yeah, I moved a little. Bit. Uh. Okay. Yeah, I definitely moved. Yeah. So it's this, this corner here. Smoke. I promise, it was that, it was right there. Okay, a little higher. Ah, really? Ah, spawn 15, why, why do you have to do this to me? Let me look at what I did previously. I saved all of these, so... I mean, this is fine, don't get me wrong. This is like, okay, but... I have a feeling I had something better... ...than that. So, what was I doing? No, not you. You. Huh? That's what I said, right? <laughs> Okay, we're talking middle of this line up top here. And when you're practicing these, remember that this particular spawn is annoying because when you, you land, sometimes your guy uh, does a little slide because uh, you're so close to this inclination here. And let me clean this up. And go to spawn 16. The last one. Uh, which is looking at the top right of that. And my server lagged a bit, but I think it should look the same. Like that. And there you go. I'm not gonna shoot this. That's every single smoke from every single spawn all 16 of them i'm gonna have to do a lot of uh, a lot of practicing the way i like to do it once i get a good feel for it is just go on the normal ass 
practice server and keep ending the round and spawning somewhere else, trying to figure out which spawn you're in. And remember, this isn't the killing house anymore. And such as that. So this obviously is this is for me this is spawn five. Cause I'm real deep. Spawn five is here with a jump throw. With a with a run throw, I should say. Tap W jump throw. Okay. And then I can type end round here on the console. And I'm in some other spawn. This is spawn 16. I can tell. Because uh, I'm so close to this ledge and whatnot. So there's spawn 16. And you keep doing this a few times. Move it, son. <clears throat> uh, so I'm getting pointed at by this. I want to say this is spawn 8. Just because of the geometry. Like it's either 8 or 7. And I obviously can't see... The lineup for seven. <laughs> so I kind of know I'm spawn A. Spawn A is tri little trigonometry action right here. I like using these words to remind me. A is trigonometry. Even though it doesn't. I mean, I don't know. Anyway. And I'll do one more. Oh, this is five again. This is three. Because I can see this wall. When I do that. So there you go. That's a bit of how I practice these. How I came up with them on refrag and then try to keep them to memory. There you go.